What's good, y'all? It's your boy AJ. Welcome back. Yes, back to another Nukes Top 5. In this one, we got real ghost caught on camera, top 5 scary haunted houses. Now, I got two mini story times for you guys, man, involving haunted houses. So the first one happened when I was like 10 or 11. It was one of those two. Uh, I went trick-or-treating and then I went on this, um, it was basically like a, um, it's kind of like trunk or treat. But like they had like this haunted house over there, right? My parents said that we were going to go in there and then we we're going to dip, right? So I went in there, me being 10, 11 years old, I'm already scared of everything. So I went in there and then tell me why the first, bro, the first jump scare got me, bro. It got me so bad. Mind you, I had a bag full of good candy. When I got jump scared, the thing popped up from the right side in front of my face with a bat. Bro, I dropped the whole bag of candy and I ran out, bro. And I was so mad because I left it there. I left the, my whole bag of candy in the haunted house, bro. So mad. I had Snickers, bro. Now and later, Starburst, Airheads, bro. All the good chocolate, all the good candy in general, bro. I left it in the haunted house. I dropped it, bro. I was so mad, bro. All my siblings had ate their candy in front of me, bro. And I had nothing, bro. That's what I get, bro, for dropping my, my bag of candy, bro. It was crazy, bro. And then the second one, it happened at Halloween Horror Nights in Orlando, Florida. Now, it was the purge event, right? Keep that in, in your mind. It's a purge event. So, me and my, I went with my friend, right? Which is me and him. We went over there by ourselves. And then we wanted to ride some of the rides, right? So, this one ride that we found, because it had a ride next to it, it had a 30 minute wait. So, we was like, you know what? We're gonna wait the 30 minutes. So we waited the 30 minutes, and then when we finally get to the front of the line in the building, bro, we thought it was a ride. No, it's a haunted house. There was no sign that said it was a haunted house, bro. We thought it was a ride because there was a ride next to it. It was like, bro, we already in here, bro. We might as well just dug it out, man. So, bro, it was terrifying in there, bro. People kept jumping out left and right, running at us, bro. Bro, I, was, I started running, bro. <laughs> I left my friend behind, I started running. And then when I got out, he was somehow behind me. And then that's when the uh, the purge came out. I think it was a purge. It was like um, a whole bunch of people running around with chainsaws, like chasing people. But I was so terrified, bro. I wanted to go home, bro. But I ended up staying, bro. You got people jumping out from the bushes, bro. Bro, that was the night to remember, man. This is why I don't mess with haunted houses, bro. I know it's, it was fake. But real haunted houses, no, I will never go over there, bro. But um, without being said, man, without further ado, let's get it. And before I get started, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. If you guys mess with haunted houses or like to go to haunted houses, like actual haunted houses, please let me know down in the comments why would why do you like haunted houses? Cause I don't mess with haunted houses. Let me know down in the comments below. Let's get it. Oh. Wait, we don't, we don't, we don't. oh. And it felt like something was around my, like someone's hands were around my neck. Oh. Oh man. <laughs> That's crazy. Top five ghosts caught on camera in haunted houses. Oh no. Invited house guest. What is it? Is it Spooky real? Scare? And what is it doing there? Alan Campbell went to the home to see for himself. Joshua Higgins and Heather Bruff claim that their Highland, Michigan home is haunted. They say that they've heard unexplained footsteps up and down the stairs and even an angry male voice screaming and laughing in the night. Ooh. But the couple who live in the house with their 15 month old daughter say that the frightening occurrences don't stop there. Yeah, you gotta go. I mean, There's no way y'all still stay in there. morning that I woke up and I had felt like something was around my, like someone's hands were around my neck. One night, Heather catches a glimpse of something absolutely terrifying on her daughter's nanny cam. Ooh. And it was in the baby's room. Heather immediately runs upstairs. I freaked out. I stopped what I was doing and I ran upstairs and I grabbed my daughter. She was horrified to find that her daughter had several mysterious scratches across her face. Oh yeah, that's Heather said this so-called ghost scratched her daughter Lily and attacked her too. It scares us that it could do something else. The couple plans to move out of the house as soon as they can as afford it. Oh, they For can now, afford it. They are sleeping in the same room with baby Lily every night. A tale from the crypt. Now, this next video is not technically a haunted house, but maybe something down. a bit spookier. A haunted cemetery crypt. 
The That's poster of worse. this video says that he was walking through the hallway of a mausoleum in a Mexico cemetery late in the afternoon when he happened upon another strange visitor near the tombs. Y bueno, pues es un panteón relativamente nuevo, tiene alrededor de 30 años funcionando. Sí se ve algo tenebroso. Pero pues supongo que Do we hear that? I know we hear that. ¿Qué onda? ¿Qué es eso? Es un niño. Niño. Boy. Niño, ¿quién eres? Oh, there's somebody right there. Niño. ¿Qué diablos hace aquí un niño? ¿Quién eres, niño? ¿Qué pedo? Niño. Don't go near it. Manche. Oh, man. <laughs> Padre nuestro que estás en el cielo. Is he chasing you? Oh, he's gone. If that boy was started uh, chasing him, bro, I would have been crazy. ¿Quién está? ¿Quién es? ¿Quién es? ¿Qué trance? You're not gonna look to your right side, man. Descanse en paz. Now, there's something else that's very bizarre in this video that you might not have spotted the first time through. What was it? Watch as the guy filming approaches the area where the young boy had been standing. See it? I see it a little bit. The face bit. of what looks like a boy peers from inside a sealed crypt with no door. Ooh. So, what do you think? Is this a ghost caught on camera in a haunted cemetery crypt, or simply a well-edited hoax? You decide. Man, that's real. I don't care what y'all say. Disappearing act. The person who uploaded this video claimed that every morning he would awaken to find a particular door in his house open, even though he had closed it tight the night before. Then one day while walking through his house, he was shocked to see what could only be described as a face staring back at him from behind the door's glass. He set up his camera to record and captured this scary video. Oh yeah, it's time to dip, man. It's time to dip. video poster says that the sound of the crying child could not be heard when he recorded the video. That he only heard the cries after playing the video back. In the comments, some have argued that since there are doors in the small entryway, the video could be faked by someone simply slipping back into another room and hiding when the door is opened. However, that person would have to be pretty fast since the face disappears almost instantaneously. Video is a hoax. It would be more likely that it's done with some crafty video. Well, that was a face. But what do you think? Is this a ghost oh, playing peekaboo? I didn't even peep that. Or just a hoax? The 
Porto Mont Haunting. Now, many people are familiar with the infamous Enfield Haunting, which inspired the movie The Conjuring 2. The Enfield Haunted House originally gained notoriety not only because of the paranormal events that took place inside the house, <laughs> but also because the haunting was verified by multiple independent sources. The witnesses even included the local police. They were even more baffled when two of their beat constables reported seeing an armchair levitate across the Hodgson's living room. It um, came off the floor, or nearly a half inch, I should say, and I saw it slide off to the right, about three and a half to four feet, before it came to rest. Well, there's actually another lesser known haunting that has even more independent verification than the infield haunting. That's the haunting of this small house in Puerto Mont, Chile. The residents of this home say that they heard the strange voice of a woman screaming in the night, telling them to get out. Mm -mm. Soon after, the bizarre transparent image of a woman began to appear Ooh. in their home videos and photographs. But the story gets even weirder. A local priest was called to the home to bless the house. Allegedly, this is video footage from the priest's visit. Oh, wait, 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 wait. oh! oh! That goes strong as free. But the bizarre paranormal encounters at the Portamont house didn't stop there. Late one night, the Chilean police were called to the home. The family claimed that the evil spirit in the house was, quote, lifting objects and starting small fires around the house. When the police arrived, they were shocked to find that the story was 100% true. Los propietarios en este caso indicaron que había efectos paranormales en el domicilio. Claro, nosotros al ingresar al domicilio pudimos percatarnos que de forma sorpresiva caían especies del entretejo. Igualmente cuando iba saliendo yo, yo mismo de la puerta, eh, un cuchillo color negro de aproximadamente unos 15 centímetros eh, pasó rozándome la espalda y gracias a Dios tenía el salido antibala, ¿no? por lo que no se produjo alguna lesión o algo. Recientemente igualmente se pudo apreciar humo que salió de una parte del interior del domicilio. Eh, no había nadie más al interior. ¿Personal de bomberos que no se ha hecho presente en el lugar? Personal de bomberos no ha concurrido al lugar. Tenemos que controlar la situación nosotros. Hay baldes con agua, igualmente manguera, pero tenemos todo controlado aquí. Además, este, haciendo presencia para que para evitar un mal mayor. Eh, los propietarios también, han, obviamente, lo que logramos apreciar, han sacado sus enseres, ¿no es cierto?, para evitar algún tipo de propagación como bien menciona pues el fuego no es cierto se ha estado produciendo bueno como usted pudo apreciar hay algunos colchones que están quemados como asimismo especies quebradas en su totalidad como lámparas que cayeron desde el techo one of the policemen who was filming outside even caught actual video of what appears to be something flying across the room inside the house procedimiento de rigor no es cierto para tomar obviamente lo que son fotografías evidencia no es cierto saw something there eh, Fotografías, evidencia, ¿no es cierto? That thing was quick. Eh, Damn. Esta casa. That thing was quick. Is that Sonic in there or something like that? De esta casa. The family was removed from the residence for the night, but still live there to this day. So, what Why? do you think? Why? Is the Portamont haunted house all just an elaborate hoax? One actually perpetrated by not only the family, but local clergy and even the police? Or is this actual proof that ghosts and haunted houses really do exist? They you decide. Do. On Did we see a creepy looking building as haunted? Or a castle as haunted. He is not a believer in the supernatural. 
But after his family moved into their new house, they all began to experience strange things. One night he was watching his two daughters on their baby monitor and he saw this. Ooh. Load a wall over there. Can't see nothing. Why was still there? It almost looks like the blurry image of another small child peering over the child gate and watching his daughters play. But when he goes to check, there's nothing there. Is this a creepy child ghost caught on camera? Or just a trick of the infrared light? Why is it super dark so, in there? Just what is the light picking up? Why are they playing in the Let me know what you in, think in down the, dark. in the comments. Is it 3 a.m. or something watching. like that? If you'd like to suggest a video for I got a lot of questions, but I'm going to leave without that, man. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you comment down below. Share this video with your friends. Hit that subscribe button because it's absolutely free. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.